I think we are live. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I shared a video of these being drawn on Facebook and Instagram, and people were going crazy, like, thought I did something special, but I really didn't do anything. As the cricket does it all. The images on these cards, these, like this image, this is from a cartridge which I've shown you when we have new images. I do a video showing you the new ones. Look, it's glitter gel. And it's, um, this image came from Drawn Plants. I want to make sure we are live on YouTube. Okay. So this image came from Drawn Plants and I just attached it to um, the white paper that I cut squares out of. And here's another one. This is a mand mandala. Am I saying it right? Mandela? Mandela. Mandela. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this one we did with um, the gold pen, the gold Cricut marker. And then we went over it again with the Cricut... Uh, fine point glitter gel pen on top of it so it's the gold metallic marker and then it also is gold uh, glitter pen you see it has glitter in there and then this one I haven't put together yet but this one is the same image as this this is done on a gold glitter gel pen still in my Cricut it's the 0.8 glitter silver is what this one is done and this image the mandala image is in design space it's already chosen to draw on all you do is attach it to whatever you want it to draw on and then I have another one that I made and has different mandalas on it there's like one here a smaller one here and some different sizes and okay you guys I need your help big time because I don't know what you call this card I created these sitting on my couch on my iPad in design space on Sunday and I'm like I just kept creating them and I'm like now I'm having more and more ideas it's so easy but I don't know what to call these cards. I'm just calling them drawn cards. Somebody said they're triple stamped cards. I said, but these aren't stamped. And this is all one piece of paper. It's not layers of papers. This one I popped up on Pop Dots. And I did not use enough. So I want to show you guys this. You have to use enough Pop Dots because it's kind of flimsy if I were going to really wanted to make a nice card to give to somebody there's not enough stability under that I should have used more so I just want to make that known I mean it has plenty enough for it to stick down but if this were to go through the mail and get smashed it wouldn't be that great I would need to add more so that's one thing to learn from this video yeah Jamie says triple frame card maybe Um, and this one I put on corrugated cardstock. You know, hear it? I don't know if you can see it, but you can hear it. It's Cricut corrugated cardstock. I put it on um, just regular card Cricut cardstock, but I cut a five by seven square. These cards are five by seven, and then glued these pieces. This one, the outside one, is completely flat glued onto the cards, the corrugated card stuff. And then I used um, black, here it is, it's falling off the table. Black foam tape by Gina K Designs. This is in a link in the description, I think. <laughs> and uh, so I used one layer of that for the middle one. And then I double layered it for the third, for the, inner one the middle middle one I guess this is the second one this is the middle 
So I stacked the foam on top of each other to make it thicker. And then I was thinking, well, what am I gonna do for these that I'm gonna to put together for you? I thought for this one, let's see what it looks like with the middle one flat, and then this one the same, and then this one up on two layers. So it's like going in further. What do you guys think? Um, okay. So, and how do I want to do this one, the pink one? I don't know why I put my mouse so far away from me. Okay, let's put these together. And if you have questions of how to write in Design Space, I'll do that at the end of this video. Like, it's so easy. Um... Maybe do this one like this one where it's just kind of even. I'm thinking so. The hardest part about these is getting them even. And people say in my um, Cricut Design Space Facebook group with Melody Lane. So it's, if you go to the Facebook, the Facebook, go to Facebook and go search Cricut Design Space with Melody Lane. I have a group. Actually, right now in that group, if you share a project you made with the Cricut, I am going to give away, you can be entered to win $499 worth of paper. Well, and you get some blades and a couple mats too. But I'm calling it a paper bundle. You get every single tone of Cricut paper, all their toned paper, like how it comes in more tones now. You get every single color. You also get the 12 by 24 paper. You also get, you also, <laughs> I don't know why I'm talking this way. You also get a 12 by 24 mat and uh, two 12 by 12 mats and four premium fine point blades. And then the rest is cardstock glitter cardstock. Uh, I'm going to cut some of these. So I'm not sure how wide that frame is for these. Um, so you get glitter cardstock, you get some corrugated, you get shimmer paper, you get pattern paper. I think it's actually 605 sheets of paper you get. It's gonna be a really heavy package. Maybe two or three packages. And that ends on May 24th. All you have to do is join my group and post a project. It does not have to be a paper project, but, and you'll have to look in the announcements for the rules, but it's, you have to post with a hashtag, a certain hashtag. It's real easy. Yeah, and everybody has so much vinyl from all the mystery boxes and stuff. I'm like, I want to do some paper. Because you guys know I love paper projects. So let's give away some paper. Okay, now the easiest way to take these little foam squares off, you push them on real tight. And then they're easier to just grab the corner and pick off. And because I'm in a live video and I just said it's easier, now it's not coming off. There we go. Okay, tell me, who here has never used their uh, pen with a Cricut? Have you never drawn on your Cricut or let your Cricut draw? I will show you how to find some drawn images. I am sharing this these cards with everyone who supports my channel on YouTube. If you click that join or membership, I don't remember what it says anymore, uh, or on Patreon for $2 or more. It's patreon.com slash Melody Lane, or even there's Facebook fan subscription. 
if you support on any of those, you get hundreds of my Design Space files. Now, if you do not have Cricut access and you don't own these images, like the drawn image, you will be charged 99 cents for that image or um, you could get access. But for the card base, you won't be charged with free images. I try to use free images whenever I can. Where's my card? Okay. Now, I don't know which way now. I think this top or bottom, I don't think it matters a whole lot. And this is going to be hard. Now these I don't need so much of it on. And I know some of you out there have never done paper projects. You're only doing vinyl. So the longest part of this is the actual drawing. This one, it, it took over a half hour for it to draw. This one takes a lot. There is a lot of tiny little circles, a lot of tiny little lines. It's a very detailed image. You can also, that image comes in a cut file and a drawn file. This one's not stick it, stick on there. Okay. Now we want to kind of match these up, leaving space all the way around. That was kind of easy. And then we got this last one. Sandy asked, how did you cut the frames? I just uh, took squares and sliced them inside squares. Yeah, the Cricut drew it and cut it at the same time. It does it all for you. I did not draw these. I did not create these images. They're in Cricut Access. And I will show you that um, after we get these together, so you can kind of see what I mean. Because you, 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 it's so easy, you just attach it, the writing, to the paper you want it to draw on, and then you're done. So there's that one. This is, um, I gotta get another light in here. You see the glitter? This is the Cricut Glitter Gel Pen. So it drew all that on there. It's the pink one, it's called Pink. And then this is the Bright's Poster Board.
that I put it on. And you could put, see, I didn't do this very even. People are afraid to post projects because they're not perfect. Well, look, look at the edge here and look at the edge here. It's totally not perfect, but, it's, but I don't have any room there. I just want to show you guys. It's okay if it's not perfect. Isn't that pretty? So if you give this to somebody and they're like, uh, you messed this up, this isn't even, and this is a mess, then you just don't give them a card again if they're gonna be that particular and not thankful for that card. Okay, this is the last one. Uh, and I don't know which way this goes. So we're just gonna, I think it's almost the same top and bottom. This was almost centered. And here's how I can tell these, this is not the way they go because these two lines here are separated more than these two lines and this is bigger. So I'm gonna flip this piece around and then I know that matches that and matches all this around it. And this little circle's partially cut off. So I think it goes there. Or maybe not. Oh, that's a line there. That's not the part of the circle. No, it doesn't go that way. Does it go this way? Yeah, I think that's good. Okay, we were going to do the middle part down first. I have to put these outside pieces down first. I think that helps me the most. And we're going to have the outside piece um, popped up twice. This is going to take a lot of foam tape. That's right, it's not perfect, it's one of a kind. I do usually get them a little better if I'm not doing them in video, but most everything I make is in video. Okay, these barely fit on the edge. Okay, so now I have to take all of these, um, the pieces off and then layer it up again on top of each piece of foam so it's higher. Yay, Kobe is drinking. You guys, my dog is sick. I took him to the vet this morning. I got up. He's not eating, he's not drinking. He thinks he's gotta go potty and he doesn't go. She says he's got colitis. We had to shove medicine down his throat. And she says if he's drinking, that's a good sign. Thank you, Jamie, for helping so many people. Oh, great tip, Glenda. She says if you need them lined up perfectly, uh, put a pencil tip, use a pencil to mark the um, edges where you want it to go. Thanks, Glenda. Glenda has a channel on YouTube here, you can click on her name and follow her.
Okay, so now we gotta go over, you guys, I know this is kind of boring watching me do this part. I should have done some of this ahead of time. I will try to talk louder. I don't know how to get the sound better. So we're putting two layers of foam tape to make it extra high. Okay, we're almost done. And then I'll show you in Design Space of how to find the drawn images or even how to change images to draw. They updated Design Space in January and so many people are not knowing how to change things to draw. They're looking for the word write and they changed the word to draw. And show you how to find the drawn images. There are so many. So many. Okay, <laughs> we are finally ready. Sorry. And we are going to try to get this on even, but. Okay. I don't have a pencil. I don't think. Let's see, okay, I'm gonna use my weeding tool as a pencil. I'm gonna try what Glenda said. Like if I maybe put a mark down here. Okay, you should probably use a pencil and not a weeding tool. Just saying. And you guys probably can't see those marks, but I can. So I'm gonna try this. No, I got it too low. That's okay, it's not perfect again. And then we're just gonna put one layer of these on. This won't take too long. I'll just try to rip it. Well, see, when I do that, then I, I get it off the edge.
I better do two more. Thank you, Glenda. Uh, Sandy's asking, can you show us how you slice? I might do that in Cricut Design Space class. I've shown how to slice in so many videos and so many classes. You just take two shapes and slice them out of each other. To make an outline of a square, you can take two squares and just make one a little bit smaller and slice the two and see what happens. Okay, we're almost done. I keep saying that, don't I? Um, yep, I think this goes here. Now this one is gonna be deeper in. It's um, than the this outside one. This outside one is higher up, it's thicker. It's kind of hard to see that though. And then this one, we're just gonna use art glitter glue. goes there. So I'm using art glitter glue I get from May May Made It. There, that looks kind of cool. Oh, I never even folded my card. Should probably fold the card doesn't that look neat I love it so this one is with the silver glitter pen this is with the gold metallic uh, one millimeter pen and gold glitter on top of it but this one is where this is the tallest section of the card and this one is the lowest section and the outside is the tallest and then these two cards are, they're all even with each other. They're popped up, but each layer here is even. And this is done on poster board, and this is just paper. Aren't they fun? They're so easy because the Cricut does everything. You just, and I thought these would be so cool. There's lots more of plants and lots more drawn images. There, if you are a golfer or you, for Mother's Day or Father's Day, these cards can be used for anything. You know, they can be get well, they can be thank you, they can be happy birthday, they can be happy Mother's Day, happy Father's Day, you know, um, happy anniversary. They can be used for absolutely everything. Um, but I just noticed some really cool drawn golfers. I hope they come out with more things, but they're really, really cool. Okay, so let's go to design space. And they're so easy. So this is uh, my base card. And I share this with everyone who supports my channel. And it's just basic shapes. This was one square. And I just made these other squares and sliced them out. Okay, let's look for images to put on here. Because I gave you the blank one, you can totally make your own. 
And if you don't support me, you can easily look at that and make your own. Um, we're going to search for draw. So we're just typing in the word draw in search for images and click the little magnifying glass. Uh, Kathy is asking about the Cricut make a There is not going to be a Cricut make a this year. Oh, now these are new ones. I just looked at drawn images on Sunday and these were not here. This flamingo was. Look at these flamingos. I don't I don't know if I I love flamingos, but these are kind of weird flamingos. They're so pointy. Look at these golfers. <laughs> Aren't they neat? Like there's different lines so you can see everything you see here is drawn with a pen. Isn't that neat? They have men and women. I just think these are so cool. Like her legs are darker. They're, it's drawn closer together to get that darker appearance. Um, Glenda, I have not shared this on Melody Lane Inspired yet, but I did share it on Patreon today. So it is in the Patreon and on YouTube. It's in my community for uh, members only. So there are posts. It's I shared it for these files already. But it's not in the Melody Lane Inspired. But for those of you that do support me, we just updated Melody Lane Inspired with a new password. These are new too. Mosaic tiles. Look what happens. <coughs> Excuse me. Ballet dancers. These are all drawn. You can make a card with it drawing ballet dancers. Castle icons. Oh, the globe. Lanterns. There's a Mandela. More golfers. Oh, that's a new one. Basketball. Okay, I was going to show you guys how to do this, but look at all these. Oh, and it's like kids too. And girls. These are so fun. Oh my gosh. Oh, these are new. Look. Okay, I had no idea these things were on here. These are fun. The heart. That would be so cool. Just putting that on a card and putting a red pen in there and just doing that heart. You know, I love you or the star or the different shapes. <gasps> these are so cool. Sorry, I'm a little excited. These were not in here last time I looked and that was just the other day. Look at the gnomes. Medieval fantasy silhouettes. So cute. And then there's these. These are in different colors. I think these are new too. Drawn geometric animals. Cheerleaders, graduation caps, graduation gown, lots of graduation. I don't remember all these. If you want fishing, just search uh, fish in design space. There's all the sign language. And look at how cute these are. These are all drawn. There's a butterfly. What's this one? Oh, wreaths and embellishments. I think this is the same one. Yeah. Um, there's drawn plants we haven't gotten to. These are animals. But I really like the drawn plants because they look realistic. Like these are not realistic. They're not meant to be realistic. Oh, there's more flamingos. Those are cute. And there's a monkey. Okay, these are not. Are these new? There's a shark. There's another mandala, fingerprints, mandalas. 
Those words are all drawn. You could add these words to your image. Yes, I did type draw in the search image. It's right up here, draw, D-R-A-W. Oh, look at all these sports. These are all drawn and they will fill in your image. And they will also cut it out. Like this has uh, like an offset of a cut out of these images. Okay, I'm not seeing the plant. Oh, there's the plants. So here's some plants. It has a palm tree. Um, I was trying to make an image with this one and this one. And you could put, let's bring some of these in. Just so I can show you. Look at all the drawn images. Look at this one. And it, you can change your colors. If you guys have not used the pen function, you really need to. And then these you can put in to write in the inside of your card. Okay, let's just go ahead and use what we got. Uh, I'm going to make this smaller. Okay, it might be a little too small. So this is one piece, and I just sliced out these squares. To make those squares, I just took two squares, made one smaller, sliced it out, and kept the little image there, and then sliced it out of this. So this one I was playing with a little bit. I was going to do a card, and I just couldn't decide. I ended up deleting it, or not actually saving it. I was going to do a card with different flowers on it, like something like that. Uh, and then maybe adding some of these flowers. You can make them different sizes. You know, you can do anything you want. And you have to, I was looking at this one because at one of them, it's not going to be written where that green space is, where that space is in between. So you want to make sure, you know, your image is not mostly on that. And now if you want it to do this, oh, and this was a reason I didn't is because it had all this on it and I didn't want to have to cut all that. Let's see, this is 12.19. Even though you're only using where the white paper is, this is going to be too big to fit on the mat. So I'd have to make that smaller, maybe turn it or something. I think I like it better smaller anyway. And it's going to go ahead and write off of the paper. So you're going to be wasting the paper on the edge. Let's see how big this is. It's 10.4. So this would work, but it is still wasting the outside paper. Like the one with my mandala, it draws the whole mandala. Now, if you want it to cut here and you click make it, it's not going to, it's going to be like this because you have to attach. You do not weld, you do not group. You select it all by grabbing it with your mouse and hitting attach at the bottom of the screen. Now when I hit make it, it's all attached together and I will just use that part in there. You can also change the color. Like if I wanna change the color of one of these, I can um, click over here and then click up here at line type, this little square next to it. it we'll change the color. I can click on it over here. You see that one's highlighted? We can choose another color. Click it here. You can change the type of pen too. You can do glitter gel pen. Pink. And click here. 
Let's change the pen. Make it aqua. So you can do that. Um, let me grab another image really fast. Okay, unable to load images. I don't want to draw an image, so I'm going to click on the X. Mary Stevens, that is a great question. Can you slice off some of the extra of the writing? I tried to, and it wouldn't let me. I can't remember if we're if it allows us to do that. Yeah, you can use any image that uh, is drawn. Like, let's click on this image. Where are we at? Okay. Now, this image, you'd want to put a name or something in here. But I'm not going to worry about that right now. I'm going to show you how... Now this is a cut image. We look over here, it says cut. If we want this to draw, all we have to do is go up to the top where it says line type and click draw. And then that will draw. And then we can choose the pen. I always choose glitter gel. Uh, well, I guess I'll just make it pink, which is hard to see on this um, so then I would attach this let's detach this one we can take all those off of there grab this move this picture smaller oh if I wanted it to fit this I would turn this place that over that arrange it to the top to the front and then attach that okay i probably wouldn't use this image but that's how you can make any cut image draw i'm reading your chat Uh, yeah, you could do different shapes and stuff like, um, I was thinking that today I was thinking, uh, well, we can just duplicate this. Say I want a card. Okay, let's try to fit these three cards, three hearts. Let's say we want these three. I'm going to select them and attach them to each other. Do I want to attach or weld? I'm going to attach. And we're going to change these to white just to make it easier so these are attached now if I want let's move these to the back I could do this and attach those or let's bring in a mandala 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 I always say it wrong I don't know which way I spell it now. Mandela. Alexa, how do you spell Mandela? Mandela is spelled M A N D E L A. Okay, that was close. Huh. Okay, well, I don't know why that's the only one showing up, but let's go ahead and use it. Okay, this has a piece behind it. I don't want that piece. I just want that. This is a circus mandala. 
hold on, let me move these out of the way. Let me just get enough. Now I could attach those and then it will, let me make it bigger just so you guys can see. Oh, I guess I'm not zoomed out. So it'll draw that right on there like that. I don't know if that's really a great example, but in, do different ideas. Mandala, is that what you're saying? So have I motivated you or inspired you? Um, and you guys are asking about slicing. Let me try it. Like to slice off the extra so it's not wasted. Okay, first we have to not be attached. This has to be by itself. I'm gonna select these two images only. No, it's not it's not letting me slice drawn images. I think that's what it is. Can we select? Or maybe because it's grouped? Hold on. Well, I can't ungroup it. Oh, I can detach it. Let me see. And we're gonna delete that piece. Okay, now let's try. Oh, slice is there. Oh, I think I did slice, but something went wrong like that. It got rid of some of the images and I don't know how to fix that. That's what happened when I tried to slice. So for some reason, it doesn't let me do it. Like it, it takes some of the things away. That's what happens. Great idea, Glenda. All right, so who thinks they can make these cards now? Here's the cards in case you joined late. These two are bumped up with foam tape and they're kind of even. This one, the pink is the... Uh, poster board, the Cricut poster board, and uh, the Cricut glitter gel pen in pink, it's just called pink. And then this is, uh, I don't know, let me see, was this pen? Glitter gel pen in olive. I know there's a green one, a bright green one, but I did olive on this, and this is also Cricut cardstock. I thought that matched that pretty well. And then we have these two cards. These are the same image. This is done in a thicker gold pen, and this is done in a glitter uh, silver pen. And I just centered the mandala, 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 <laughs> any way you say it, on the card and attached it. And you just, Hit make it and it does it for you and all you do is stick these on. Now you can put a sentiment or something inside. You can choose writing and attach it to the inside of the card also. You can do it, Peggy. Let me show you real fast if you wanted to write on the inside of a card. Let me uh, start over first. Let's go back to my projects and go here and customize, replace what's there just because it's a mess. Okay, so if I wanted to write on the inside of this card, I would move this over and you could add fonts.
that have a writing style. You know, and add whatever you want for the writing style. Or you can do a sentiment and attach it. Let's um, draw sentiment. Let me see if this brings anything up. It's still just the draw things. Okay, we could do the daddy's little princess. this way now we might want to change this card if you hit the shift key it'll it'll stop right where it should we might want to change this card to be a card on its side um, you know what I mean open up the other way so you would just attach this and then it it didn't delete that stuff it just brought this to the front and we'll send that back to the back um, let me zoom out. I have them all selected and hitting shift and I'm going to move it this way. So you could do this card this way if you wanted to. I mean, I don't know why you'd really write that on the inside of the card, but just an example. Uh... In order to have you print twice, let me answer your question. So this one we did with a gold metallic marker. I think this one, it's the one point. And then we went over it with the glitter gel pen to add some glitter to the metallic. What we did, and you can do this anytime you're, in, you're using the Cricut, we put it in to draw like normal. We did the gold uh, one point pen first. And then when it was done, we did not unload the mat. Notice, did not unload the mat, even though the unload button was blinking. We changed the pen to the glitter gel pen and then hit the go button again on the machine. So let me show you. Uh-oh, this might not be working. Okay, this button was blinking. We skipped it and hit this button instead. And then it redid the entire thing and it takes a long freaking time to do this one. <laughs> it takes a long time to draw this, but you don't have to do anything, it just does it for you. These were, these were This one was fastest, I think. So it just depends. Oh, I got to put my pin in my glue. All right. I will see you guys on Thursday, I hope. Yeah, Melanie, watch this from the beginning. You can make this card. It's real easy. All right, guys. Um... If you missed Saturday's video, go watch Design Space class. You will want to watch those. And I opened viewer mail on Saturday. That was a lot of fun. I like seeing what other people do. All right, guys, I will see you um, in the next video. But if you have questions, Put them in the comments below and I try to answer all the questions. And don't forget my paper giveaway on Facebook in my group, Cricut Design Space with Melody Lane. Love you guys. Bye.